Hello, everybody. That's Fifi in the background. She saw a, a bug or something. Yes, baby. Mommy hears you. Well, I'll wait for people to trickle on in in here. I just took a shower. I look like a wet dog. This is um Sam. He's my buddy. <laughs> yes. You're so good, boo-boo. Um, yeah, we'll just let people come in before I start blabbing to my phone. I don't know how I'm going to do this either because this is not comfortable holding his bone like this. Um, yes, Fifi. Mommy knows. Mommy knows. Maybe I can just set this up like right here and talk to y'all. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. I L L, let's go. I N I. Hello, everybody. I don't know what time it is. What's up, Luscious? Y'all must be getting close. Where are y'all? What's up, Michael? Hey. Fifi, come here. Come on. Come here. Come here, baby. She's being stubborn. Oh, y'all are at Shaw's. Okay. Heck yeah. Really? All right. Rex, go away. Sorry, y'all. I'm at my parents' house and the animals. Really? He's at my door just barking. <laughs> He's annoying. Please get him. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, so, wait. Can somebody tell me if it's 7 o'clock? <laughs> That's when I said I would start. And I don't want to start too early if people, like, plan to get here at 7. And I can't see what time it is because I'm on my phone. I know I got on here early, but I was just going to see if anybody was here. Two minutes. Two minutes we go live. Thanks, Mark. Uh, hello, hello, everybody. All right. Somebody give keep giving me updates. <laughs> it's almost eight. Yeah, I was on West or East Coast time forever. Actually, I've been on West Coast this year alone. I've been on West Coast time, East Coast time, and Central time. I realized today that I've only been home and I Conway Arkansas is where I call home I've only been home three weeks this entire year here because I lived in California for three months before I got on the trail and then I've been living in the woods well, I had to get off for you know things and stuff one minute. Thank you. You're the countdown. Um, all right. I'm going to start talking. It's go time. My coach always told me if you ain't 15 minutes early, you're late. So y'all can just catch up. Um, what's up, guys? I haven't done a live in forever. So, actually, I did one right after I summited. But, anyway, I haven't been vlogging because I've just been chilling. I've been home now for, like, a week, two weeks. And it's been tough. It's been real tough. Um, the transition from living in the woods for six months and going through, like, the best experience of your life and then just coming home. And it's just not the same. And 
I've been struggling, but as most of you guys know, I have some miles that I still need to walk to call myself a through hiker. Uh, so I noticed there's a lot of people that are new to the channel. If you're in here, um, I'll just give you the rundown. So the sixth day I was on trail, I had an emergency surgery, had to get an ovary removed. If you don't have any idea what I'm talking about, I've got a video explaining the whole story. But basically, I missed a 200 mile section, 200 miles, give or take section of trail while I was covering, recovering from that surgery. So I was out for like three weeks. Um, and so now I had to come back home, get some work things taken care of. I had to get some CEUs done for my registered dietitian license, get some just, you know, all the things I went, I've gone to the doctor, I've gone to the dentist, I've gone, you know, all these things that I haven't been able to do in the past six months. And so now that I got all that done, I am getting ready to go back out and hit that 200 mile section that um, I have yet to complete. And I am not going to give too many details because it's just for safety purposes I don't you know I never have never told everybody exactly where I'm at but um I'm planning on getting out there pretty soon I still have some stuff that I need to finish up so maybe within the next couple weeks I will be back on trail um I am going through the Smokies like I said I have like 212 miles to make up and I'm gonna be um hiking oh my goodness thank you so much david to help with um medical bills or anything else enjoy being home for a while thank you so much um i think while you're on trail you kind of put your blinders on and don't realize how much money you're spending and then you get home and you look at your bank accounts and you're like i spent that much money and so <laughs> it's interesting about that because uh you know, I'm still not done. And, but I, I have, everything should be okay. I'm getting, I'm playing, paying my hospital bill off monthly. You can set up like a monthly payment plan and it'll be paid off eventually. But, um, yeah, that's my plan. Um, I bought, I spent the past couple weeks buying, uh, winter gear cause, uh, it's going to be cold and your girl's from Arkansas and I ain't used to the cold and I don't like cold. So I'm gonna freeze. I've already just I've already accepted it. But I um I got some down booties, I've got some thick socks, I got some down pants, I got a bunch of hand warmers. Uh I can't remember what else. I got some upgraded pieces of gear too, like I'm trying out the Catadon water filter. Uh I got some new rain pants. I still got my frog, I bought a new frog togs rain jacket, because y'all know I love my frog togs. Uh, but that's just a few things to name a few. Uh, I'll eventually make, like, a video talking about the changes that I made to my gear. But, uh, yeah, I just want to send you guys, uh, like, let you guys know what's up. I know I'm right still in the middle of my series. Um, I'm still working on editing those videos. I thought I'd get a lot more done while I was here, but honestly, I had to give myself some time to just decompress, and then when you're depressed, you, I wasn't really in that creative mode, so uh, it's it's fine. You, I'll keep putting out the videos, and it shouldn't be long till we everybody gets caught up, but uh, now... Uh, what kind of questions do you guys have? I'm going to try to get caught up in this chat here. And I've got a lot of people in here messaging, so I really apologize if I don't see your message. Uh, let's see. Hi, Stan the Man. Oh, Stan the Man, what's up? And try, try. If you need any help when you pass through New York, let us know. Oh, heck yeah. I will, for sure. Yes, and oh, crap. What did I just do? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. you think I'd be better at lives by now. The Smokies will be beautiful this time of year. Yes, they will. And I'm very excited. I've never been in the Smokies before. And I think it's going to be awesome. I kind of hope it snows just like one time so I can try out my micro spikes. 
It's going to be cold. I love snow. I'll probably change my mind if I have to walk through it, though. <laughs> oh, cool. Everybody's, y'all are hyping me up even more. I'm so excited already to get back on trail. I cannot wait. Like, I'm almost happy that it ended up this way because if I didn't have 200 miles to make up, I'd be just a little ball of depression. Hand warmers are awesome. Yes, they are lifesavers. Let's see. Don't forget to sleep with your filter. Yeah, I know. I got to sleep with my filter. I got to sleep with my, um, my face cream. So, my skin started breaking out in Vermont. Y'all will see it in my videos that come up. And I had this terrible rash on my face for like two months because I, there was no time to go to the doctor. There, and once you get into Maine and New Hampshire, there's not really di pharmacies like close behind. So anyway, I went to the doctor and the dermatologist since I've been back and they gave me these facial creams. Anyway, they can't freeze. So I'm gonna be sleeping with my GoPro batteries, my water filter, my face creams. We're just gonna all snuggle in my sleeping bag. Do 100 miles, do 100 mile days, knock it out in a weekend. Huh? <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> I'm actually kind of worried because I've done like very limited uh, physical activity since I've been back. I did go hiking today. And I was, my body was not happy with me. They're like, why are we doing this again? Uh, serious question, best kind of shoes. I'm hiking the whole thing. 120 days in April. So, I can't really answer that question because everybody's feet are different, but I really loved the North Face Effectives. I went through three pairs on trail and I'm on my fourth pair. And this fourth pair I got, they have high top North Face Effectives. And I'm gonna show y'all. Cause I'm very excited about these shoes. They're kind of like boots, they're leather, and they are waterproof. I don't typically like waterproof shoes because once they get wet, they don't dry, but they, I think these will keep my feet warmer when it gets cold and like the grip is just these shoes are so comfortable and I have my um fleet not fleet feet uh super feet insoles inside of them and I couldn't wear the super feet insoles with the low top vectives because it would push my foot up too much and I felt like my heel was slipping out of the shoe but they work really well with the high top ones okay let's see let me get back to questions and stuff Oh my goodness, I can't keep up. Oh boy. Sorry guys. Um, mm -hmm. Are you going to do seven miles in New York? Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to focus on the 200 first <laughs> and get that done. Where is Chungus? I, th I don't know who went home with Chungus. I think Tripod has him. And I don't think we got a picture of him on Katahdin. And I think that will haunt me for the rest of my life. Poor Chungus. In case you want to be... You might want to check the AP Conservancy in case you want to be officially recognized or not. I mean... I don't... I'm not... I don't want to be certified by the ACT. I don't want them... Whatever they are. I don't care about them. And I, I don't... <laughs> Like, I'm not even trying because I don't need their stamp of approval. I know in my heart I walked all those miles. And I don't need anybody to tell me that I did. Especially not the ATC. That's all I'll say about that. Alright. Did you ever report Sagaro, Sagaro's channel for stealing your content? It ain't right. Guys, what is that? I, I had no idea that was the thing. And I'm honestly a little terrified. Like... Who is make who is taking time out of their day to do that? Like, I'm worried. And I don't know how to report them. And honestly, like, I don't know. I don't have time to deal with people. Like, that's just weird. And it's weird because, like, all she has a bunch of other videos and they have, like, no views. And then all the videos that have my name in them have, like, 800-something views. Which, like... She's probably not making money off anything, but, like, why? Like, who is that? <sighs> Are Grace or Ellie going to be able to meet with you? Um, I don't, 
Ellie's or Ellie, who is Stephanie. Stephanie is in Maine. Like she's still hiking <laughs> north. Um, Grace is right now finishing up some miles, but I'll probably link up with her when I roll through Nashville because she lives in Nashville. So may see her. Smokies will be her highest elevations. I know. Clingman's Dome is the highest one on trail. I think. Um, Hiking with Braids. Hi, Kelly. I've finally made one of your live videos. What's up? Y'all, I watched Hiking with Braids all last year, and she, I just loved your through hike because your videos were like 30 minutes, and that was peak of COVID, and I looked forward to them every day, and you were so good. I don't know how you did it because I obviously failed at putting a video out every day, but hats off to you. That, <laughs> I, it was like, I was like, I will wake up and I'm like, there's nothing to do today except for wait for Braids to post a new video. <laughs> oh, it was great. Oh, it will snow. I just moved. <laughs> great. And then this person said, it is. and then David said, it's not supposed to be golden smokies yet. What, what will it be? We'll see. See what happens. Oh, I got $5 from Lars. Thank you. I see those pop up. So... If y'all really dying for me to answer a question, you can do a super chat because I may miss it because I can't keep up with these little chatty things. Is Popeye in the chat? I know he's reading for the Braves tonight. Ha. <laughs> Popeye! Popeye, where are you? freaking miss Popeye. Oh, my gosh. I miss my crew. It's so weird. I literally, like, lived with these people in an RV for a month. They were my roommates. <laughs> I miss them. Um, do the Pacific Crest Trail next? It's very, very likely. It's very likely, but I'm not going to say much on that. Have you gained or lost any weight since you started the trail? I started the trail 157 pounds. Now, mind you, I had a three-pound cyst in me, but uh, I'm now like 138, so... Yes, I lost weight, and I don't know how because all I did was eat, and it was junk food. But when you, you burn so many calories when you're out there, I mean, it's crazy. You're, your body's just a machine. Shout out to David David. Yeah, huge shout out to David David. You are awesome. Um, did you get tired of cold soaking foods? I got tired of cold soaking and once it got cold. Right then, I was like, I need hot food. And I would have gotten my stove back, but I was hiking with people with the stove. So I would just like buy fuel for them, carry some fuel, and use their stove and pot. How did you survive financially for your entire through hike? You guys, YouTube. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I mean, I don't make, like, a ton of money off this, but it was enough to fund my through hike and also hopefully pay off that hospital bill. So, I really, anybody who watches me, like, thank you. <laughs> Seriously, thank you. Uh, Southern women rule. You can't, yeah, they do. Oh, did you ever go back and get that cat? Not yet, but that will be happening. Fifi's going to have a friend, and I'm so excited for her to meet him. Right, Fifi? Come here, baby. Everybody wants to see you. Come here. Cat, come here. Come here. Yes, come here. You came to mommy. You're so good. This is my baby. Mommy loves you. Look. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> We're just going to do this. Let's see. All right. I'm getting sidetracked here. Are you going to hike with somebody? Yes. Uh, probably a few people, actually. So I'm excited about that. Oh, braids. Oh, <laughs> you're the best. 
And then you're hiking with the boys. That seriously reminded me of Wendy, Peter Pan, and the Lost Boys. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love it. Yeah. you probably right, Go Dog Go. Any trail regrets? Honestly, no. I was telling my mom the other day, I was like, I don't think I'd do anything different in my through hike. Like, if anything, I would have not stressed. Not that I stressed a lot about making miles, but you guys have seen, if you've been keeping up with the channel, like, the videos that are coming out right now, we're, like, contemplating flipping. And we went through this two or three week long struggle of trying to figure out, should we flip or should we not? And we didn't end up flipping, spoiler alert, because we didn't need to. And it was because so many people like fear monger you while you're on trail and say like, you're not gonna finish, it's getting late, Katahdin's gonna close, blah, blah, blah. And we got like the most perfect weather and maybe we got lucky or whatever, but like, I wouldn't have changed it. I wouldn't want it to have been in Maine any earlier because when it had gotten started getting cold enough to where like all the black flies had died and like mosquitoes were gone. So we I did not see one black fly in in Maine and I've heard they are very bad in the summer and so I'm glad I didn't have to deal with that cuz I dealt with enough bugs in Maryland and Pennsylvania. And that sucks. I mean, that is like, that may, <laughs> I don't miss that. Don't miss that at all. Those things drove me crazy. All right, let's see here. I watched the commercials. She get paid. Can't stop singing the hefty bag song now. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I know some, um, creators tell their viewers to watch the, the commercials because you get paid more like, so if you do that, you're awesome. Thank you so much. But um, I totally understand if you want to skip them too because that's annoying. That was a lot of boys you was shacking up with. I wasn't shacking up with any of them boys. They're just following me around. I'm just kidding. Oh, cool, boss night. I hope that you you get that. You do that. Michael said, how's the van? The van is good. Oh my gosh. I basically moving back into it because I lived in it for three weeks and then moved back and then got on the trail. So I'm, I need to make it, um, I need to keep like moving it in and like make it livable. But I'm thinking, and y'all tell me what you think. After I finish the 200 miles, like the next thing I think I'm going to do is, like, a tour of Arkansas in my van. Because there's so much cool stuff in Arkansas. So, let me know if you guys be interested in that type of content. i uh, be basically living in my van and driving all around Arkansas. And um, just showing you guys, like, a bunch of cool spots and what there is to do around here. Do you want out, ma'am? Is that a yes? Huh? Do you want out? Hold on. Come here, baby. Do you want out? Come on. Oh, all right, Fifi. Fifi got put out. She wanted out. Okay. Mm -mm. Let's see here. I noticed you like Michael Jordan. I went to the same high school as him. That's awesome. I have his high school... Uh, Jersey from Laney High. Keep grinding your channel, but well, thank you, Mason. Finances and job stability seem to be my crutch for committing to this hike. Do you have any advice on how to how you could achieve this dream? My advice is save, 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 and just work your butt off and save. In college. I knew I wanted to do this, so I'd work three, sometimes four jobs and just grind it out. And I would forego vacations, going out to eat, just so that I could save all the money that I made. And, um, yeah, um, start early and just however long it takes you to save. Like, I think I read somewhere that you wanted to have like $1,000 a month. But, uh, I say you want more money than that. 
you want probably at least ten thousand dollars i mean you can live really small on the trail and like i normally i'm very pretty frugal like in normal life but i don't i mean i don't know on trail like you, you want more money and out of everything that you are worried about on trail, you don't want to be, my, I don't, I hate stressing about money, especially, it's the last thing I want to think about when I'm out in the woods, so, I survived the shutdown walking, hiking with braids, right, me too, <laughs> I think she helped way more people than she thought, she, like, she probably knows, I think, like, she helped us all <laughs> not, be not depressed about stuff, okay, now I have to go let Sam out, I'm sorry, guys, Y'all are annoying. Oh, everybody wants something. Everybody wants something. Okay, let's see. Yeah, y'all, I love Michael Jordan. Um, I actually have a uh, life-size cutout of him in my room. And then that poster. <laughs> and uh, that poster. It, it used to be crazy in here. Like, it was just Michael Jordan, bowls, everything. But, uh. I've calmed down a bit. Can't remember when you started, but did you start too early, not early enough, or just right? I started April 10th, and I honestly think it's the perfect time to start April because it, it's kind of cold, you know, still in April, but it's not cold enough to where it's necessarily, like, unbearable, like if you started in March. You may get some snow, I know some people got snow and ice and pretty cold temperatures still in, like... I mean, it could still get pretty cold in May in the Smokies and stuff. But I loved the timeline of my hike, and I don't think I would do it any differently. I mean, I did hike through the heat of summer, and that sucked, but I'd rather have done that than hike in the freezing cold, even though I'm going to do that anyway at the end here in a couple weeks. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, no. Um, favorite state you hiked, Maine, 100%. I'm so glad I did, didn't did flip. I'm going to go back when they reopen the Hunt Trail and Summit on my birthday in, on December 7th. We had perfect weather in the whites at peak leaf changing season. Yeah, I mean, I agree, like, we had hiking in Maine in October can be kind of um, a gamble because you don't know what the weather's going to do. But, oh, my gosh, this year we were hiking. It was like 70, 65 degrees. We had peak foliage. The locals were calling it an Indian summer because it was just, like, perfect. So I loved the way I did my hike, honestly. Oh. Overland that rig that could be a way to expand your channel. So actually, I have a um, four-wheel drive Land Rover that I, I take overlanding sometimes. And I'm building out the back of that into like a mini camper. I just bought, I just got my foam mattress in the mail. I bought my ball bearings. They're 48 inches and they can hold 500 pounds of weight. And I'm building, I've built this platform I have two drawers that pull out like 40, like 50, I think 50, they're 52 inches deep. They're going to pull out 48 inches and I'm going to store, store like my stove and clothes and stuff like that and use that to go on weekend backpacking trips and take y'all down um, different like four wheel drive um, roads in Arkansas. I'm so stoked about that adventure. So that's another project that I have when I come back to from the trail that I'm excited to share with you guys. I built out the back with um, the help of my dad. And um, I've had my Land Rover. It's an O2 Land Rover Disco. And I've had it since high school. I've had it since 2011. So it's my baby. And I freaking love that car so much. And I'll never get rid of it. <laughs> Ever. Let's see here. What did Braid say? I'll DM you. I want to come out and bring y'all trail magic in the Smokies. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes, y'all. Yes, braids. Let's go. Oh my gosh. I can't wait. I will definitely be messaging back so we can get that worked out. Oh, I'm excited. Yay. I love this community. It makes me so happy. 
Good night, Mark. Hope your dinner's good. Get some sleep. Oh, you're in the woods now. I'm jealous. Let's see. Do the Washtenaw Trail in April? Maybe, if I'm not on the PCT. Speaking of Arkansas, have you watched Ozarks on Netflix? Yes, love that show. Great Rocks in Arkansas. What? Yeah. My dreads are still here. Do you mountain bike? I've never been, but I want to go. Cool. Okay, so you guys like the idea of the Arkansas tour. Awesome. I'm really excited because I can't wait to show you guys how cool Arkansas is. I live near the Virginia roller coaster. Did you love it? I did love the roller coaster, actually. I had a lot of fun doing that. Even though it was hot as crap when we did the roller coaster. But I thought it was... I liked I liked it. <clears throat> hey, Nicole. Base Nectar poster, yeah. I like EDM. I just sold my house of 20K to start the trail next year. That should be enough. That should be plenty. <laughs> Is your family coming back with you? Uh, no. But somebody, I'm trying to get Tripod to come meet up with me because he is a camper. And I'm like, we need to uh, do a little van life adventure. I am going to go see Toasty. He lives in Nashville right now. So I'm going to see him. And he actually might come out weekend if he can swing it with work. Mm. What is your favorite hostel? The Roadhouse Inn in Maine was amazing. They're not on gut hooks. And um did I what did I call it? Roadhouse Inn. Was that it? The Gens. I'm blanking right now. They're awesome, but they're not on gut hooks. It was all word of mouth and it literally was like the best place ever. We stayed I stayed for three nights. One night they made us lobster mac and cheese. The next night they had hiker Thanksgiving. There was stuffing, homemade mashed potatoes, the mac and the lobster mac and cheese, turkey dressing, uh, carrots, baked carrots. I, I don't even remember. It was like the best meal I've ever eaten in my life. It was so good. We zeroed there, accidentally. <sighs> but I won't. I won't spoil what's coming up because it's kind of funny. Uh, have you, have your thoughts around nutrition and nutrition counseling changed at all based on your hiking experience? Eh, not really. I don't, uh, I'm, remember that cool sexy bug net you wore for a while? I try to forget that thing. <laughs> that sucked. Uh. You inspired me to start walking. So everyone will be feeling good. Thank you. Oh, David, I'm so glad that to help with that. That's awesome. Yeah, I always say you got to start somewhere. If you've been sitting down for a little while, you know, all, all it takes is you to get up. Even if that's like walking to the edge of your driveway and back up. I mean, that's more than you did the day before. Then you're making progress. So is the PCT or the CDT in your future? Yes. What was the best trail magic you got? That was a tie between um, the Mama Bears and um, Miss Karen. They are just angels on earth, seriously. I'm a fat old guy, but your videos make me want to go hike. That's awesome. <laughs> you should definitely do it. All right, y'all. Any other questions? I think I'm gonna... I need to get ready. I need to... I need to do things. But what I'm probably gonna do is watch Netflix. <laughs> Not Netflix. YouTube. <laughs> All I watch is YouTube. Uh... All right, y'all. 
good good night um i will do a live again um once i'm back on trail and i'll just keep you guys updated since like the videos that i put out are still going to be following the series and then i'm just gonna you know get the series finished out and then i'll post you know more videos wrap up videos of the at um i'll be working on a documentary of my entire journey once i finish these next 200 miles i should have all the i'll have all the footage and i'll have to start getting organized i am learning how to use final cut pro on my mac my mac and it's it's learning curve so I'm driving myself a little bit crazy with that getting behind on editing because i'm <laughs> I'm learning how to use that program, but I know it's going to benefit me in the future because I can do so much with it. And it just is going to improve my video editing skills and the quality of my videos in the future. So, anyway. All right. Let me see if I have any last... Um, I'm lost. All right. Okay, y'all. I'm signing out for good now. Thank you, everybody, for coming. And, um, I will see you guys back on the trail. I cannot wait. Ah, and, um, yeah, I'm awkward. I'm just going to exit out of this now.